I wanted to do a quick video today to talk about all these little ends that you are probably accumulating, especially if you're cutting your wood properly, you're not having a lot that are splitting on you. They're coming out pretty nicely and if you're consistent in your first cut, you're going to find that a lot of them are the same size and that way there's no actual cutting involved in this tiny craft. Now I'm not going to uh, show you how to put them together. I think you could probably figure that out. It's a little bit of glue and you may want to have some toothpicks or tiny dowels on hand. Um, some things I did find handy while I was doing this are tweezers. I have a couple different kinds of tweezers and any tweezers are really going to work for you just to just to help place things. You're obviously going to need some glue and as always I recommend Aileen's Original Tacky especially when you're doing these little pieces because they're going to stick a lot faster and you won't have to worry about it. You're also going to want to have your emery board or some sandpaper because unlike it's unlikely that you actually sanded these as you went. You probably cut them all off and had them um, just threw them into a jar or something. Uh, I have so many that I've actually upgraded my jar. Went from a little jar about this big to a big giant jar. So since there's no measuring or anything involved here, you can just really just use your eyes and pick some out. And these all seem to be roughly the same size. I'm just going to grab my longest dowel here. Right? And super, super easy. Just, you would see in these before you glue them. So they're going to look a little rough at first. But they're all roughly the same size, and there you go. And once you glue that down, you have a reasonable, um, reasonably nice border. Then, um, but why stop there? You can actually go ahead and put some down the bottom. Yes, and have a two-sided border. And I like to alternate them. Of course, if you need a flush edge, and you may need to cut some of it, but, you know, this is really up to you, and it's just something to do to get rid of and make use of these ends. So I don't want to talk too much. I'm going to uh, end it here. And what I'm going to do is end this video with some pictures of things that I came up with while I was sitting here playing with my ends. So if you like my videos, hit like. Uh, if you know anyone who is interested in this type of craft, you want to share that, that'd be great. And um, if you want to see what I come up with next, please hit subscribe as I will be posting some more videos. I'm going to go now and you have a great day.